Welcome to our channel, Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we're embarking on a journey into the world of high-performance connectivity with a comprehensive setup guide for combining composite fiber optic cable and a PoE switch. So imagine the speed, reliability, and power efficiency of this dynamic dual. So get ready to elevate your network game. So traditional fiber optic cables have long been associated with efficient data transmission. Composite fiber optic cables distinguish themselves by not only transmitting data, but also carrying power along the same cable. And this innovation brings about a shift in the capabilities of fiber optic technology. They offer higher data transfer rate, ensuring faster and more reliable communication. Additionally, their immunity to electromagnetic interference contribute to a stable and interference-free signal. And the durable nature of composite cable make them ideal for various applications, particularly in outdoor installation, where robustness is crucial. And in the realm of network infrastructure, PoE switches stand out as a pivotal component that streamlines the delivery of both power and data to connected devices. Unlike traditional switches, PoE switches have the unique capability of transmitting electrical power alongside data signal over Ethernet cable. And this innovation simplifies the deployment of various devices, such as IP cameras, wireless access point, and they offer increased flexibility and scalability in the network installations, as devices can be deployed in location without easy access to power outlet. And the marriage of composite fiber optic cables and PoE switches yield a host of advantages, revolutionizing the landscape of network installation. And this composite solution seamlessly integrates power and data transmission, offering a streamlined and efficient connectivity solution. And one notable benefit is the heightened flexibility it provides in deploying devices. With both power and data causing through a single cable, the need for separate power source is eliminated, and allowing for more versatile and strategic placement of devices. So let me introduce you to our composite fiber optic cable. It's pre-ensemble with connector already attached to the end. It has two strings using LC connector, and they're 100% factory terminated and tested and roughly three times stronger than 20 AWG wire, it also has 86.6% less resistant than comparable wire. Using 56 volt DC reduces the risk of electroshock and other safety hazards. And using this fiber optic cable has no license electrician required. So now we are in front of the demonstration board and I'm going to connect to a bullet camera and a wireless SS point using this composite fiber optic cable and also an outdoor managed PoE switch and an indoor managed fiber switch. So let's do the connection together. First I will connect our router to the switch to provide data and then I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router to the NVR. So those are the SFP slot on our fiber managed switch. That's why we have to plug in the SFP transceiver because this is where we connect to the fiber optic cable. So let's plug in the fiber patch cord and transmitting data to our termination box. Now this termination box has the fiber optic string and the wire. Here we have a 48 volt power supply and it's already connected to the termination box. The fiber optic, the composite fiber optic cable has two string, so we can plug in either one. So let's plug in the fiber patch cord. Now it's attached with our composite fiber optic cable. Coming over here, we are going to do the exact same thing. Let's use a fiber patch cord to connect our termination box on this side. 
Remember, we plug into the first one. So first one is string A and the second one is string B. And the power supply is already attached to the outdoor PoE switch. So I'm going to open it up so you can see what's look like inside. We have the wire for electrical power and the fiber optic cable for data. So coming over here, we are going to use the fiber patch cord to connect with our switch. This managed outdoor switch can support both DC and 36 to 60 volt power input. So let's plug it in. Remember, we have to use the SFP transceiver. Attached to it, this power supply is already attached. So I'm going to plug in two Ethernet cables since we're connecting to two devices. First is our bullet camera. And the second one is the wireless access point. You can see the indicated light is already on. That means it's now getting both power and data through our outdoor PoE switch. And looking at the monitor, we can see the video footage already displaying on the monitor. And I'm going to wave my hand so you can see this is a live video. So the composite fiber optic cable in between is transmitting both power and data. So in building a resilient network infrastructure, meticulous attention to details such as proper cable management and connection procedure is essential. Organized cabling adhering to industrial standard not only ensure a tidy setup, but also minimize error during maintenance. And power allocation, particularly through PoE technology, demand careful consideration to avoid overload while efficiently powering devices like IP cameras or SS point. And features like port prioritization in managed switches can optimize bandwidth for critical applications. And simultaneously, robust network security measures implemented at the physical layer through secure cable connections and controlled access and safeguard against unauthorized tampering and the synergy of these elements form the foundation of a reliable and secure network and vital for seamless operation and reduced vulnerability. And congratulations, you've just mastered the art of combining composite fiber optic cable with a PoE switch. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorial and elevate your network with the power of this dynamic duel. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you in the next video.